You're listening to the Business Hour in partnership with Network B2B. It's a Friday afternoon. It's Steve's over in uh, Bradford. Um, I'm at the offices of Major Recruitment with uh, Carlos and Bianca uh, to find out more about, well, about Major Recruitment in itself. So, how are you, Carlos? All right? I'm really good, thank you. Thanks for joining us. And Bianca, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Brilliant. Well, thanks for inviting us into your offices here in Bradford. Tell me a little bit about Major Recruitment then. How long has it been going? What do you do? Um, major recruitment itself has been going 25 years, um, but this branch in Bradford we opened just over a year ago, and we're thriving. We did really well. We were one of the first uh, branches for major recruitment to hit profit in the first year, so that was outstanding. And this year, the whole company is about 40% up on their profits last year, so. We're going all in You're the right direction. Another right. Okay, so when you first came here then, what? how many staff did you have when you first opened? When we first opened, it was just myself, and then Elise joined me, and then shortly after that, Bianca. So last year, we, we went all year round with just three of us. Right, okay, so there's more than three here now, as I can see. So how many have you got now? For major recruitment, we've got five staff, mm-hmm. and we've also got an equity partner that works with major recruitment too. Okay, so so what is it all about then? Do you work across various sectors, Carlos? Yeah, we, we pretty much cover every sector that is in business. So we do construction, engineering, we do MDs, we do office, we do cleaners. I don't think there is an actual sector that we don't actually come across right. that we can't fill. Okay, and and how does it work then? If 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 an, do you have sort of relationships with companies where you've been out and had a chat to them to offer your services? Basically, I, I, I've been doing it in this industry myself, um, over 15 years myself. So it's a lot of clients that we've built up um, throughout the years. But at the same time, we're constantly doing sales, contacting new clients. Um, uh, in recruitment, a big part of recruitment is sales to bring on new business and also attracting good candidates to put in those companies. Right, okay. So I'm assuming yourself and Bianca do that here on the, the sales side or is, is there more of you? Yeah, in major, as a team, that's what we all do. Okay. Uh, we, we all do sales, we all do resourcing, we all find the right clients and make sure that the clients are getting the right staff first time. Right, okay. And Bianca, so how's things for you then? You enjoy what you're doing? Yeah, I, I, I love it. I love what I'm doing. So yes. how long have you been with Major then? Um, just gone a year. Just okay. a year in July. Okay. And what's what's the best bit, do you think? What's the best bit you enjoy? Everything, to be fair, is so different and it's so nice. And meeting the people and it, being able to help them okay. is it's so rewarding. It's, okay. It's so so nice. every, every day is different then? New challenge? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Every day is different. Okay. And... Carlos, do people actually, we're in the middle of Bradford, do you, do you get, let's call them walk-ins then? Where we are on North Parade is a great street uh, in Bradford. Uh, it's full of bars, uh, <laughs> which is great to take the clients uh, out to when we're having little meetings. But at the same time, it does produce a lot of footfall. Uh, so we do get a lot of walk-ins. And then from that, you can pick the cream of the crop that comes in, okay. uh, obviously. So you work with with um, temps and and perms. I think they're the they're the right terminologies, yeah. aren't they? Um, so if somebody sees a a, a job of a position advertised with with major. What's the process? What happens after that? Well, basically, we, we advertise online. We've got job boards. Obviously, our window as well. I've got the positions there. People walking past, seeing a the job, they come in. And then obviously we, we ask for a CV, we look at their CV, see if they're good enough for that position and also explain what the client is looking for. If we feel that that person's met all those criteria, then we introduce them to the client. And from there, the client makes a decision if they want to give this uh, candidate a chance. And then uh, that's and it. And away they go. Away they go. They go. And, and what's what's the market like now? Is, is there still lots of temporary positions available? There is. It's... it's you know, talk about the Brexit and, and, and jobs going away and, and uh, all this kind of facts hasn't really slowed down. I mean, we're busier than we were ever. Um, we're getting busy even more so now. There's a lot of jobs out there and a lot of people looking for work. So it's just getting the right people for the right jobs. Right. OK. And what's in terms of some of the, the, the key roles then that you've got, what have you got now, for example? Right now, I'm, I'm looking for... Um, uh, this is quite a hard one. Right now, I'm looking for a copper welder. These are extremely hard, uh, okay. if not impossible to find. 
Um, I'm looking for MIG and TIG welders as well, the normal like aluminium, steel. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also looking for fork more forklift drivers. Uh, we're looking for some engineers. And uh, I'm actually looking for an accountant, um, a full-time perm position, someone that comes in, like an F, even an FD position it can be. Well, so, it's really varied then. Yeah. Yeah, really, really varied. So and in terms of temporary roles, um, I mean, in just by the nature of the word temporary, they can be varied, but can some be short term, medium term? And what's, in, in, when does a temporary role not become a temporary role anymore? It becomes permanent, if that makes sense. Yeah, some, some clients uh, we fulfill because it's peaks and troughs. So when they're busy, they might be busy for just two, three months, and then the work dies down and then it picks up again. So they'll have the same kind of staff come back that were there before. And in the meantime, in the interim, we'll find them work elsewhere. So then they're available for both clients. Um, a lot of clients will have temps, temp to perm. So they'll start with us temporary. After 12 weeks, they'll go permanent with the client, depending on how they've worked, their attitude, timekeeping, and so on. And then obviously the perms is a straight interview, second interview, and they go directly permanent uh, with the client. Right, okay. Now, I hear on the grapevine that one of the things that you do do that really sort of stand you out from the crowd is that you actually go and do the jobs that some of the people that you're going to be recruiting do. Yeah, and Bianca's a big part of this role. It's basically um, what we like to do that we feel is different. Before we explain the positions to our candidates, we actually learn the job and like Bianca's actually done the, the job herself uh, at our clients. So therefore, when she's explaining the role, she knows the details that they're looking for, exactly what they need. So when we're placing them, they're getting the full information so they can do that job correctly. Okay, okay. So, so Bianca, here we go then. So what kind of roles have you done then? Um, I've done various different roles, like picking, packing. Have you driven a forklift truck yet? I haven't. <laughs> that is definitely on my to-do list, right. um, but not yet. On, on forklift driving, actually, major now, we've got a trainer, um, and, and he's actually started in September, that we can offer to all clients that uh, if they want their own staff to have a refresher or a five-day course, we'll, we'll provide that for the client. Wow. Any temporary members of staff that want to maybe come out of picking, packing and learn how to use a forklift, we'll also do that. So now it's an, another edge that we've got that will help clients and help our temps get another experience, uh, a different line of work. Okay, so it sounds you're going from strength to strength, right? Great growth in a year, right? Profitable. In, within the group itself, so you must be very proud of that. Yes. And because uh, I think was that the, did you win an award recently for that? Because you won, you were somewhere and you won an award. I can remember you mentioning it. I heard it on the <laughs> grapevine anyway. Yeah, obviously, major. Uh, at the end of the year, we have our awards for because we we've got 19 branches uh, and still growing. Um, and at the end of the year, we all get awards. Um, at least one, two awards for outstanding performance and also billing over 120k wow. which is an achievement in itself we won best new branch uh, for major recruitment so yeah Just award going, winning award, award winning, winning major recruitment yes. in Bradford so if people want to find out more about you want to get in touch how can they do that they can find us on LinkedIn they can find us on our website major recruitment um, we're very easy to find okay. uh, on our web. So I guess they can also uh, pick up the phone, Bianca, and give you a call. What's the number? Yes, it's 01274 304466. Brilliant. Well, look, thank you for joining me today on this afternoon in Bradford. It's always great to hear of uh, Yorkshire business success stories and whatever you're doing for the rest of the afternoon. Have a good one. Thank you very much indeed for having us on the radio today. It's a pleasure. Thanks, yes, Bianca. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank, thank you. you. I'd like to share news about your business, event seminar, or workshop. Simply email steve at stevetwynham.com.